Okay, so we're going to integrate this here. All right, so the first thing you do is get all the x terms at the top, yeah? Um, so we'll take that x, the 4 up becomes x to the minus 4. All right, the x, and then we'll integrate. So remember, when you integrate, you add 1 to the power, so that becomes 5 over 2. Just check on your calculator, 3 over 2 plus 1. Divide them by that new power. And then the same here, then add 1 to that power, so you get minus 3. Divide them by that new power, which is minus 3 again. And then, of course, don't forget to add on a constant. What you can do here, then, is tidy this up a little bit. Take the 2 up, so that becomes um, 4. Okay, so fraction on the bottom. Take the bottom number up and times it by the 2 there. So you're getting 4 over 5 then. Here, um, 9 divided by 3 is 3, of course. And because there's a minus there, you can join it with that plus, And the plus and minus become a minus. So you get 3x to the minus 3 plus c okay right part b okay we're asked then to um find the area yeah of um the shaded part there and uh, the line and the curve that we've got here but first of all what does it say find the coordinates of the point a and point b okay so if you notice points a and b that's where the curve and the line intersect yeah so we're going to do simultaneous equations so we've got for um, the first, for the curve, y equals x squared plus 2. For the line, y equals 3x. Okay. And we're then going to solve these then simultaneously. Okay. So solving. Okay. While the y's will be the same, the x's will be the same at the, those points. So y's will be equal. In other words, then we can say x squared plus 2 will equal to 3x. Okay. So then get the 3x over the other side. So we get that. And then bracket them. Two numbers that multiply to give positive 2, add up to give minus 3. So 2 and 1, because they both have to be minus. So x minus 1 will be 0, or x minus 2 will also be 0. So then x will equal 1, x will equal 2. And in that case, then, we can work out what y is going to be, because y is 3x, isn't it? So you just sub it into 2. So y will be 3, and y will be 6 there. Okay, so my coordinates are, well, A clearly is the lowest one there, the lowest x value, and B then is the um, the next x value there. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to work out the area as they've requested, okay, but what I want you to see is, okay, that we can split this up into two. That's the way I would do that, okay, so um, if I draw a line here, You'll notice then I've got a triangle here and I've got the area then under the curve. Okay, so if I call this say area, I don't know, A1 and area A2, it doesn't matter, right? You don't have to call them anything. But we know now, for instance, that the, the triangle, we know that x value there is 1 and we know the y value there is 3. So the area of the triangle can be worked out quite easily. Okay, so um, if I write that here, area of triangle. will equal to, well remember, half base times height, so I'll be half, the base will be 1 there, yeah, my x value to take me to a, and the height will be 3, so work that out, you get 1.5, right, or 3 over 2, left as a, as a fraction, okay, now the area then for a2, so that was a1, a2 will be the area under the curve, yeah, so the area will equal to, the integral uh, between 1 and 3 there, yeah, which we worked out, of the curve, which is x squared plus 2 with respect to x, okay? So we'll integrate that. So we get x cubed upon 3 plus 2x between 3 and 1, okay? So if we substitute it in, so we put 3 in to start with. So um, we go, I've worked it out straight away, like 3 cubed is 27 over 3, Plus then 2 times 3, which is 6. Take away then, put 1 in. So 1 cubed over 3 will be 1 third. And then 2 times 1 will be 2. So I'll work these out separately in the calculator. So we've got 27 over 3 plus 6, and that will be 15. Take away then 1 third plus 2, which is 7 thirds. And we get then... 
that out to be 38 over 3. So to get then the total area, don't forget then it'll be the two combined, yeah, A1 and A2. So that'll be 1.5 plus 38 over 3. So we can leave that then as a fraction. Comes out to be 85 over 6. Okay.